Hey, what's up? It's Jake from Nimbus DevOps, and now we're going to be going over checking for file and directory existence. So if you want to make sure a file or directory exists or it doesn't, the pathlib module is what you'll need. So let's make a file and write an example. So we're just going to call this existence.py, and we'll say from pathlib import uh, path. And then p will just be, we'll call path, and then fear.txt, which we know exists, right? <clears throat> and then we say path equals p dot parent dot absolute. And then under here, we're going to say print p dot is underscore file. And we will print the path. And we will print the path dot is underscore dir. And then under all that, we will say q equals path. And then we're going to pass a path of whatever mine is. So slash users slash jakew slash wherever I have this repos slash python underscore scripts. And that's where that should live. And then from here, we're going to say print uh, q dot is underscore dir. So what should we see here? Well, the p as file should be true. Uh, the path, let me let me tab this out a little bit. Uh, how far do I want to go? That's good. The path should give you slash users slash jake w slash repos slash python scripts and then the path is dir should also evaluate to true and printing q as a path setting should also evaluate to true so let's try it so python existence false i got a false <clears throat> my first one and then i got a path and then i got true and true so why was this false hmm. um, let's look look let's look at this so we created a path object that we set up with the name of the text file we want to inspect so that's feet.txt and the reason that that's wrong is because if you have any errors in the spelling or whatever it will legitimately look only for whatever is in that string and if you see if i change it to fear all of a sudden it's true and I get my path and then true true so that works exactly as I would expect it to so now we checked for file and directory existence um, so now let's look at manipulating files and directories so there's a couple quick examples of manipulate files and directories um, let's go with manipulating the content so let's make a file called manipu manipulation.py and I'm going to say from collections import counter and uh, from string import, uh, let's do ASCII letters, chars equals ASCII underscore letters plus and then an empty string. And then we'll say we want to define sanitize uh, s if you don't know what i'm doing i'll explain in a second chars uh, let's see return uh, empty string dot join c for c and s if c in chars and then well, let's see what else we got here let's do define reverse uh, passing s and we will return the s index colon colon negative one and then let's do, let's say with open fear.txt as stream. I'm going to stream it. Uh, lines equal, and then we'll make a sequence line dot r strip for line in stream. Stream. Uh, yeah, and then we'll write a mirrored version of the file saying with open fear.txt um, as stream. Actually, let's do <laughs> let's do re, uh, rave there fear backwards as stream. 
um, stream dot write and then carriage return dot join reverse the line for line in lines. Oh, uh, there we go. And now we can calculate some statistics like lines equals and then sequence sanitize uh, line chars for line in lines. And then I could do whole equals a space dot join in lines. Not while. That's going to cause problems. There we go. Uh, whole, and then we perform comparison on the lowercase version um, of whole. So we can say CNT for the comparison, and we'll do counter whole dot lower dot split, and we'll split those out. Um, oh, sorry, counter, counter. Okay, and then finally, let's print count dot counter dot most underscore common three. Okay, so what on earth is going on here? All right, so let's start with my this guy. So this is going to uh, write the mirrored mirrored version of the file the file. And then my lines, uh, this is going to calculate some statistics. And then I have my whole. And then for this one, um, I'm going to perform comparisons on the lowercase uh, version of whole. And then at the end, we're just going to print the n most common words. OK, it's a lot. I know. Keep up. Uh, so this defines two functions, sanitize and reverse. They are simple functions whose purpose is basically to remove anything that is not a letter or a space from a string and produce the reversed copy of a string, respectively. OK. Um, so we open fear.txt. We read its contents into a list. Then we create a new file, rafe. Uh, dot txt, which we will contain, which will contain the horizontally mirrored version of the original one. We write all of the content of lines with a single operation using join on a new line character. Then maybe uh, the most interesting part is at the end. But first, we reassign lines to a sanitized version of itself by means of a list comprehension. Then we put the lines together in the whole string, and finally we pass the result to a counter object. And notice that we split the lowercase version of the string into a list of words. That way, each word was counted correctly regardless of its case, right? Because they're using split for that. But we don't need to worry about extra spaces anywhere. Um, when we print the three most common words, you realize that the um, you know whatever the focus is of the book or whatever, like whatever the most common things are in that whatever text you're doing. I just have a little book excerpt. So let's run this and see what happens. So Python manipulation. Oh no, an error. No file or directory, rafe.txt. Uh, let's go look at this here. So should I go create one? Um, I guess I could create one. We want it to create one though. But I have it as, I don't have a, uh, an option to write. So if I leave, if I leave this here to write, then it should write it. So let's try this. There we go. A and U. So there, there you go. A was 21 times, and was 19 times. U was 18 times. So now we're starting to get to the point where we actually start analyze text, which is pretty cool, right? Um, so let's look at an example of manipulation more oriented disk operations, and you can use the um, sh util module for this. So let's do that one. And what's what are we going to name this? Let's name it uh, ops underscore create dot pi. OK, so let's import the sh util. And then uh, there we go from path lib import path. And we'll just say we have a base path, which is equal to path of uh, ops example. And then uh, what do we want to do is we want to perform 
an initial cleanup uh, just in case and we can do that by saying if base underscore path dot exists um, and base underscore path um, dot is underscore dir then sh util dot rm tree base path okay then we can create the directory and we can say base underscore path dot make dir and we'll say path underscore b is uh, base underscore path and we'll say slash a slash b and then we'll make a path underscore c which will be base path um, slash a slash c and then we'll make another path d which is going to be base path slash uh, a slash d like this and then all we have to do is say path underscore b dot make dir parents equals true and that will create the parent directories and then we go path underscore c dot make dir and you uh, don't need to make parents because because they already exist right and then we want to add three files in uh, ops example uh, slash a slash b and we can do that say uh, by going for file name in and then let's do like example one dot txt and then we'll do an example two dot txt and an example three dot txt So for each of those with open path underscore b slash file name with write um, as stream, we want to stream dot write f and then just say some content here in whatever the file name is with a new line and spell stream correctly. Cool. Then I can go shutil dot move uh, path underscore b and path underscore d, and I can also rename files and go ex1 equals path path underscore d slash, and then I can be like ex1 dot txt, um, and I could go ex1 dot rename. Uh, ex1 dot parent slash and then a string ex1 dot renamed dot txt dot txt okay so uh what is this going to do so look at this uh real quick i know i typed it really fast we start by declaring a base path which will safely contain all the files and folders we're going to create then I used uh, make dir to create two directories, ops example a, b, and ops, ops example a, c. And we don't need to specify parents equals true when calling path c make dir um, because all the parents have already been created on the previous call with path b, which I put in the comments there. So we'll use the slash operator to concatenate directory names, and pathlib takes care of using the right path separator for us behind the scenes, which is kind of handy. So after creating the directories, you can use a simple loop to create three files in directory B, and then move the directory B and its contents to a different name, D. And finally, we rename ext1 to ext1.rename.txt. So if you open that file, you'll see it still has the same text as uh, from the original loop logic. And then if we just type tree, we should be able to see the results. So let's check it out. OK, I typed this fast, so hopefully it just works. If we don't have any errors, that would never happen. If anything, I need an ops create directory. All right, so what happened? Uh, no errors, really. So I made an ops, ops example directory. And here I can see I've got some paths and stuff like that. So if in here, 
I just go to, uh, if I type tree and then ops example, oh, come on. Um, I am in git bash. Let's open Ubuntu. And I don't have my virtualization turned on. Oh, well. Anyways, we can just look at it here. So you can see here, I've got this example one was renamed and I still got some content in here from example one, which is awesome. So this worked just fine. So that is that. Is that. And the last thing we're gonna do is manipulate path names. So I'm going to create a file called paths.py and we're going to say from path lib import path and then p equals path and then we'll pass our fear.txt file and what do we want to do after that all right so let's print p.absolute and then let's print p.name we will print p.parent.absolute uh, let's see, let's print p.suffix and then we will print uh, p.parts and we will print p.absolute.parts uh, and then we can say readme underscore path equals p.parent slash get ready for this one all right parent slash dot dot so if you're familiar with linux you know what this does dot dot slash read me dot rst then we can print the uh read me underscore path dot uh, absolute and we can finally print the readme underscore path dot resolve. Like that. Okay. So what does this do? We can read the results, so probably good enough explanation. So you'll probably just get it right out of the gate. Uh, paths. Oh, yep. Okay, that looks good. So there you go. Um, you can see where all this is going. I've got my fear.txt, that's absolute. And then I have the name, which gives me the parent absolute, the suffix, the parts, the absolute parts. I've got my um, readme path, and you can see that it does the go back to directories, and back to directories would be just my user directory, and it put a readme.rst file in there, and that'll work just fine. So in the last two lines, we have two different representations of the same path. The first one's a readme uh, path absolute, and it shows the dot dot, a single one of which in path terms indicates changing to the parent folder. So by changing to the parent folder twice in a row, we go back essentially two directories, and that's confirmed in the last line of the example, which shows the output in my home directory here. So there you go. So we did a little bit of that. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but that would be how to manipulate path names. Uh, we also went over manipulating files and directories, checking for file and directory existence, and yeah, a bunch of other stuff. So if you got any questions, yeah, feel free, leave me in the, leave them in the comments, and good luck, happy coding.